Hello guys, here's Roman from Tentech. Today I will show you a very simple way to set up your scene for rendering. As a sample object I use this little low poly mushroom. First of all we need a background. For that I'm gonna create a new plane with Shift A and scale it. To not only have a ground but also a background I'm gonna go into edit mode and select an edge and extrude it in the set direction, like this. As you can see, there is a very sharp edge on the plane and we don't want this. You're gonna see it in the renders. So we're gonna select it and bevel it with Ctrl B, like this. Use the mouse wheel to add more resolution to the bevel so that you can see the bevel lines in the final render. Next, add a material. I always do mine a little bit grey, like this, and that's your background. For the lightning I'm gonna use an HDRI. It's the most simple way to do a fast lightning setup. You can download HDRIs on websites like Polyhaven, I'm gonna link it in the description. Just keep in mind that if you download a very high resolution one, your render time will increase. For the lightning information, a low resolution one will be perfect. If you have downloaded the HDRI, you can go into the Worlds tab and change the color to Environment Texture. Open the downloaded file and you can switch to the render view to watch it. As you can see, it gives off light. That's because an HDRI has way more light information than a normal photo. You can adjust the strength of it by playing around with this setting. I'm gonna leave mine at 1. I prefer cycles, so I'm gonna switch from IV to cycles. And if you have a GPU installed, switch from CPU to GPU compute, because it's gonna be much faster. You can always add more lights to spice up your scene a little bit. For that scene I'm gonna add a new area light and position it. Scale it up and rotate it like this and go into the lights tab where I can control it. I'm gonna make mine a little bit bluish and I'm gonna turn up the power. Like this. I want another light, so I'm gonna duplicate that one and move it to the other side and rotate it by 270 degrees. Like this. And I'm gonna make this one red. That looks alright to me. I'm gonna switch back to the materials tab so that the performance is a little bit better. And I'm gonna add a camera. You can switch into the camera by pressing 0 on the numpad and for easy positioning of the camera you can open the end panel, go into the views tab and hit camera to view and now you can move the camera with your view, like this. Remember to uncheck the setting again, otherwise you're gonna move the camera always. To increase the render speed I'm gonna go into the render properties tab and I'm gonna turn up the noise threshold from 0.01 to 0.1. It's enough for me. And I'm gonna turn down the samples to 1028. It's time for a test render. Hit F12 to render and wait for it to finish.
I think that my background is a little bit too shiny, so I'm gonna select it and turn up the roughness in the material tab because I like it more matte. Play around with the material settings and the light strength and size until you like your results. If you want a smooth animated camera, you can add an empty and move it to the point where you want the camera to be pointing. Select the camera and select the empty with control and press Ctrl P, object. Now the camera is parented to that empty. If I move the empty, the camera moves with it. If I rotate the empty, the camera rotates with it and the camera is always looking to the same point. We can use this to make smooth camera movements. For that, with the empty selected, I'm gonna add a new active key set by choosing it right here location, rotation and scale and make a keyframe in the first frame. I'm gonna move the timeline to about 100 frames. Switch back into camera view by pressing 0 on the numpad and rotate the empty on the set axis. Like this. I'm gonna scale it to move inwards a little bit too. And I'm gonna rotate it on the x-axis. Notice if you hit R and X, the rotate is a little bit weird. If you want to do it on the local axis of the empty, press R, X, X. Like this. Go to keying, add another keyframe and your animation is done. The last thing to do is to set the output settings. Go to the output properties tab and select the file type that you want. If you want it to be a video, I suggest to use AVI JPEG. And I'm gonna turn up the quality. I'm gonna show you one last trick, which you can use to play around with the colors a little bit more. For that, go to the render tab Go to color management and right here you can choose a look. I usually do medium high contrast. The higher you go, the more saturated your colors will be. So if you want flat colors, go on the lower side of the settings or if you want very high saturated colors, go to one of the higher settings. That's it for the simple render setup. All you have to do now is hit render render animation and wait for it to be finished. Thank you for watching, I hope that you could learn something. Please leave some feedback in the comments and if you liked the video please leave a like and subscribe and we're gonna see us next time. Goodbye!